vendor confirmations. Vendor confirmation, we would be requesting a vendor to acknowledge. Okay, first vendor would be giving an acknowledgement. I have received the purchase order and I am accepting the purchase order. That acknowledgement would be coming. Then, once vendor has prepared your material when he is shipping it, he can also send you advance shipping notification. And with this advance shipping notification, which vendor send it to you, it can come to you through email, it can come through you EDIs or through IDOCs automatically if the integration is there. Where I am mentioning EDI and IDOC, there would be specific interface need to be developed. It is not an automated process, a app need to be involved here. And when it has received as the email EDI IDOC, if this advanced shipping is there, we would be creating a inbound delivery in the system. Now, this process is not mandatory. You can also have a purchase order and you can have a direct GR also. You can skip the full process. You can also skip the full process. This inbound delivery would be letting you know, this inbound delivery would be letting you know that there is something uh, required for the uh, inbound deliveries. Uh, there is something uh, in the warehouse it is coming. It is a trigger to the warehouse people that something is coming. Make sure you are ready for it. Make sure your docking doors are available. Make sure you have a lab labor available who would be unloading the material. Make sure you have a space available where you would be putting the material. So this inbound delivery helps a lot to the warehouse team or if to get the material from the vendor is your responsibility. Vendor is giving you advanced shipping notification ki bhaiya, my material is ready for ship. You can come and pick it up. Okay, that, that depends on in core terms that who is responsible to deliver the material. 90% of the cases it would be vendor who would be delivering the material to you and he would be charging for the freight. In some cases, you can say, okay, yeah, I would be going and picking up my material. Then with that inbound delivery, you would be creating your transportation. You would be planning your transportation. What kind of truck is required? Who would be your freight provider? This can link with the modules like WM, EWM. This can link with your modules like transportation management, T. But again, this process is not mandatory from SAP, but can be mandatory as per business process. So that's a quick part where the vendor confirmation will come into the picture. What is vendor confirmation? What kind of things would be there for the vendor confirmation that I have quickly tried to explain it here.